Hey everybody, welcome back to Castos. Uh, I'm editing a podcast using Descript. I've done a Descript, Descript. Uh, I've done a couple videos quite extensively on the on the software. It's my main go-to now for editing podcasts. And one aspect of this piece of software that really drew me to it is the removal of filler words. And that is something that you might be really hooked into to using Descript for. There's a couple things I just want to clarify. I've mentioned it in other videos, uh, but I just really want to punch into it this one. So a couple tips and a couple things that I look out for when I'm using the re remove filler words feature. The first thing I do when I'm editing a podcast is I definitely will go through and globally remove all the um and uh and ah filler words. So if we're looking at a composition in Descript, you can just right click on it, remove filler words. It'll bring you to this screen right here and you can actually select from predetermined filler words. So if I check uh and um <laughs> it's hard to say it when i need to say it but very easy to say it in in normal conversation um nothing comes up i've already removed them i mass remove them from the get-go the one that's a little bit more tricky is the you know and i mean so if we look for you know and i mean there are 60 60 results of the you know and i means and i think i actually already removed i mean from this episode because there weren't that many so I globally removed them but the you know part that's the tough one because if we look at a paragraph like this you can see in this paragraph here one two three four instances of you know and there are other instances here where there's also four instances of that instances of you know in the same paragraph in the same spoken segment so the issue with just mass removing something at this capacity or this volume I should say is a volume meaning the count, not the volume of audio in a podcast, but is that it can really chop the audio a lot. And that was the one drawback that I mentioned in my overview of Descript is that while it's a great feature to just, I can just remove all of these filler words, it is literally chopping that audio and cutting it at those points that it hears it. So in a waveform fashion, you know, it can get pretty tricky where depending on, how fast the person's speaking, like the cadence of their conversation. If it's, you know, or, you know, and then they go right into another thing, it could be too uh, drastic or too jarring for the listener to just hear the skip. And that's why I spend a little bit more time listening to the show and really removing the other filler words that still flow okay in conversation, right? So, it's very nuanced. It's an amazing feature and it does save you a bunch of time. And it's certainly to visually find these filler words is way easier than doing it in audition, which I used to do it in. Um, and now I can just find these words visually. The other thing it does, you know, really well is it automatically underscores uh, these, uh, like the, the repeat words. So in this instance, I say two, two, two. And that's me thinking of what I'm going to be saying next. And it's just crazy to think of when you're having conversations, you know the person's thinking of something as they're like repeating words and it's totally acceptable in, in speech and a conversation with someone. But as soon as, it, as soon as you hit in text and you're reading a transcript, you're like, why do they say two, three times in a row? Uh, there was another point where my guest said I five times in a row as he was thinking of like what the next word was to say. So nuanced, still very helpful. It's not a magic bullet. You just can't swipe clean the entire transcript. I mean, you literally could swipe clean your entire transcript. And I guess if it's not a long audio segment, it's, it's, it saves you a bunch of time. So if you just had like a five minute piece of audio and it's part of like a presentation, boom, you clean the whole thing through. It's not bad. If it's 45 minutes to an hour. You gotta kind of pay attention a little bit more. Uh, but even at you know, beginning of a paragraph, I have no problem you know, editing out that in one fell swoop. I know it doesn't really hurt the waveform too much. You know, if it were somewhere here in the middle, that would probably sound a little too jarring. Like you actually hear that audible skip, which is kind of annoying if you hear it too many times as a listener. So anyway, I was using Descript. I love Descript. I've talked about it in other videos, but I was just in this removal of filler words. And I said, you know, I really want to punch into this topic for the audience listeners. All right. It's youtube.com slash castos. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you have any more questions. Leave them in the comments below. See you in the next video.